If you think your smartphone has to do something with your poor posture and poor breathing, well, you're gonna like today's study. Hi, my name is Leon Turetsky from backintelligence.com where we help people correct their postures as well as help them manage their back pain from home. And if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so to get more videos just like this. Now today I'm going to be talking to you about a study that was done on 50 participants and they measured the effects of using a smartphone on posture and respiratory function. So they took 50 people and they divided them into two groups. Uh, there was 25 participants that were using the smartphones for less than four hours per day and then there was 25 other participants that were, that were using the smartphones for more than four hours a day and then they measured their angle of their forward head posture, they measured their rounded shoulders and they also, also measured their respiratory function and, and, and you know their breathing capacity. Uh, so uh, what did they find? Well, you may not be surprised that all of those three elements, the forward head posture, the rounded shoulders, and the respiratory function uh, were much worse in the group that used smartphones for uh, more than four hours per day. And this makes sense, right? Because the more you use a smartphone, the more uh, likely you are to get into a poor posture. At least most uh, of the folks out there, they don't watch this YouTube channel, yes? But if you watch this YouTube channel, maybe you don't make the same mistake, right? But a lot of people, what they do is when they look at the small screen, they kind of, you know, they just start moving their neck. And as soon as the, the neck goes forward, then the shoulders follow and they collapse. And then, of course, if you're in this collapsed position, can you really take a full breath in? Not so much. Yeah, you can breathe as, as, as well as if you're in this upright, expansive posture. You know, just try it yourself. Stand in a good posture, bring your neck upright, shoulders back, and now breathe in, and you can, you can breathe much more air in and breathe out better as well. So you're gonna get your lungs uh, functioning a lot better in an upright posture versus now go like this and now try to breathe. You feel all constricted, right? So uh, it totally makes sense how all those things go together. Forward head posture, rounded shoulders, and respiratory function, right? Uh, so let me read you here. Um, from the study, it says the result of this study showed that using a smartphone for a prolonged duration could negatively affect both posture and respiratory function. These results may be used to promote awareness about smartphone usage. For health considerations, we need to pay attention to the duration of usage as well as posture while using smartphones. Right? So uh, I don't necessarily think it's about the usage of time, in my opinion. I mean, you could use it for even two hours, and if you, if you get into it like this, and, and you're looking at it for two hours, that already can strain the muscles of the neck and back, right? So the key here is to change how you are using your smartphones, okay? Uh, smartphones are not going away, so <laughs> it's more about figuring out how to use them better. So if you're reading on your smartphone, or you're scrolling on social media, you know, just bring it up to your eye level, okay? And do what you need like this, yeah? If you're lying on a couch, instead of being in this position, kind of rock back, bring your arm up, look at the screen like this, you know, just, just make sure you're not hunching or to look at the small screen because that's what happens with these kind of small screens. We tend to hunch over them and that causes a lot of problems. As we already talked a lot about on this channel and on our website, forward head posture uh, is really terrible for you. It can cause neck pain, it can cause headaches, it can uh, limit your range of motion as well and stiffen up your muscles. So. Uh, you definitely want to be aware of how you're uh, using your smartphones and any device really, your laptop as well, right? So make sure you're elevating the device and make sure that you're aware of your posture the entire time, all right? All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did, make sure you like it, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and also send this video to a friend that could use it, all right? Uh, also, if you'd like to fix your forward head and rounded shoulders posture, 
We'd love to send you three exercises that we have done with Dr. David Oliver, who's a chiropractor. And these exercises are very easy to do at home. Uh, so if you'd like to get access to these uh, videos uh, that will show you how to do these exercises step by step, there's gonna be a link on this video somewhere here to get them or down below in the description area. Just go to that page, enter your email, and we'll send you these videos right away. Otherwise, see you guys next time.